Hi you guys, Squeaky Bikes here. Uh, just doing a quick video here for you, just to ex um, to give my my way of doing a cheap sat nav alternative. Um, you can you can pay quite a lot of money for a TomTom -tom Urban Rider, which is a good two hundred and fifty pounds, maybe more, and or a Garmin. Them are the t them are the two of the main ones that I've heard at the minute. Um, you can get cheap ones, but they're not always that good and not that reliable, really. Um, so, instead of spending all that money, I decided to get a cheap version, pretty much. Um, so, this is how I did it. Basically, as you can tell from this, I have an iPhone. Um, this is the iPhone 4, not the 4S, because I've got no money. Um, I'm a poor boy. So, basically, there's there's loads of apps you can get on an iPhone. Like they say, there's an app for everything on the iPhone. You can get a TomTom. -tom app for your phone so it's a sat perfect perfect sat nav app which let me just show you is right here okay so you've got the sat nav up there now this costs around 60 pounds altogether 59.99 it says um and it's absolutely perfect it's exactly like any other sat nav it's not biased for bikes um like the urban rider is but there is a setting on here where, if I'm not getting completely lost, um, is to set it onto um, twisty roads, which this Tom Tom Urban Rider does do. So if you want to go a long distance but not really sure, um, not really certain if you want to do motorways, then set it on the winding roads and just as good. So the app, apparently I'm there. So that was from the previous time. So it is quite loud. Um, if you've got, if you've got a way of listening to it, or if you like me, you can easily just look at it, read it, and then can carry on. And there you go. So it saves you a bit more money. So that's sixty pounds. So that's there. Now to actually see it on the bike, you need a holder. So just frame it with my gloves there, my beautiful Easter gloves. Um, is this? It's from eBay. It's an eBay boy. And it's from a company called Ultimate Add-ons, which do quite a lot for bikes, actually, I'm quite surprised. Um, it's fantastic. So, iPhone slots in there, quite simple. Just close it up. Like so. Right, there you go. Okay. Now, don't worry, you can still use it. Bear, 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 bear. Alright. Perfect for your hands. And just demonstrate. Regardless of what gloves you're wearing as well. The screen works with gloves too, like so. See that? Let's go through. So there you go. Works with gloves, absolutely perfect. So while you're rolling about, you can make any adjustments. And it's not always easy trying to perfectly press something while you're riding. Um, or it's best to do it at a set of lights or something. But I have actually sent a text once while I was sitting at the lights. It, it was probably just really rushed, so I was missing half the words there. I was just trying to get the general gist. But basically, this goes on the bike. It comes in two, three, three parts. Well, four, because you have a lanyard as well. So you can either wrap it around your neck, walking around with it, because um, it doesn't have to be on the bike. You can just have this case. It's 100% waterproof, this case. I've ridden in the rain with it a few times, and it's absolutely solid. The rain does not get through this. You can still use your camera there. A little lens there, so you can still take pictures. It's hard as nails. Um, really durable, really strong, really waterproof. I absolutely promise you this is waterproof. And you can use on the screen, really easy. Really easy touch. Okay, you can still get to all your buttons. There is also... So you can either charge it or little lead comes through here so you can get you can put it on charge while it's in the case or um, if you've had it, actually got it linked up to the bike with a battery charger um, you can keep it on charge there always a good idea and you can listen to your headphones through it as well um, if the headphones are long enough that is because um, sometimes you get headphones which aren't that long so there um, you can choose what bike you get for these um, to make sure it's the right nut size. Um, 
for the CBR, it's a 20 mil, 20 mil yoke size. You can either get these two, let me show you, similar to the drift mount, you can buy where it wraps around on the handlebars, and then you'd have this same clip which will be here, and then that just clips on the back, and there, that's on the handlebars, okay? But this one's for the yoke nut. So, it goes right in the centre of my handlebars. You have seen this in my other previous videos. If you haven't took notice, it is there. Um, so, this will go on top of your on top of the nut and this will be right inside of the CBR nut like that okay so instead of me doing all this why don't I just show you where it goes on so let's let's go to the bike okay then guys here we are at the bike this is my CBR she's very beautiful um, so this there it goes in as I said it goes right in the yoke nuts which is it this is the other end of the lanyard so you can keep it safe um, either around your neck but I just wrapped it around the, uh, the underbars so if this does vibrate loose, which it has, and luckily I caught it while I was riding, um, it's, it's just there, so if it does drop off, it's not going to go far. As you can see, that's not going anywhere there. <laughs> Perfectly wrapped up. So, this is how we put it on. Take the uh, the good old nut out, the yoke there. So you got that gap. So keep that out of the way. You want to keep that safe whenever you don't want this in. Get your, get your yoke nut there. Try it in the middle. Get the trusty Allen key and tighten it up. Keep it nice and straight. Oh, it would be best if I put the lanyard first. And tighten. Doesn't have to be too tight, just kind of pinch it up. Lipper thick. <laughs> ah. So, this little piece here goes onto the back of the case, goes on top of the nuts, like so. Put that on first, and you screw it on. Pops on pretty damn easily. And just tighten it up without screw at the bottom. So, that keeps that nice and secure there. Same again, just have to pinch it up. Don't want to get too tight, but you don't want to be too loose. It's a nice little pinch. Like so. Right. Now, the phone. Slots in here. Matches the slots there quite easily. Match them up and push down towards the bike. Attach it so it's completely attached to the bike in two separate ways so if it does unfortunately vibrate to this it's not going that far is it and it's not getting in the way of any instruments or anything can get tangled up in and kill me all right so there you go now off ebay this all comes in one set let's get on the bike actually why not okay so on ebay this comes all one set at 40 pounds you can Choose your bike, and it will give you the parts for the bike. Um, it it will come packaged separately. It won't come all in one box. But it's very good quality. Very good quality. You can move it around quite easily. So you can have it at any angle. And, um, yeah, there you go. It's really easy to use. So that's £100 there for your sat, your sat nav app and, and the setup. Simple as one one hundred pounds. You've got a sat nav, and then it's up it's up to you now how much more you want to spend with it comes to uh, plugging it into to your battery to keep it constantly charged. But that's entirely up to you guys. So that's that's probably another twelve pounds there, um, just to buy the socket. So there we have it, guys. A cheap sat nav alternative. Hopefully, I've helped any of you guys out. It was. Um, who's a bit short on money and don't really want to be spending too much. So there's my alternative. Right, safe guys.